Greenhouse gas emissions come from the goods and services we produce and consume. The market for goods and services fails to account for these emissions, and they have impacts that are not priced as a production cost. This represents a market failure. Economists around the world tell us that the simplest and least expensive way to correct the market failure and reduce the amount of carbon dioxide being dumped into the atmosphere is to put a price on carbon emissions. If we were to charge $25 per ton, that would generate $125 billion from those who produce the carbon emissions. This would increase prices as those producers pass the cost on to the manufacturers, who then pass it on to the distributors until ultimately it finds its way to the consumer. But we want this tax to be revenue neutral, and here's how we do that. If we take that $125 billion in carbon taxes and divide it by the number of Americans, the result is $400 per person. That amount would be returned in the form of tax credits. So if you are a big carbon user and fly around in private jets, you'll spend well above your $400 allocation. But if on the other hand you're someone who for example uses public transportation, you will likely spend less than that $400. So the net result to you is positive. Since the cost of the carbon tax is built into the goods and services we use. The more you use, the more you pay. This targets the tax at the heavy user.